The Commodity Futures Trading Commission decides whether to allow investors to bet on box office receipts in the futures market. Hollywood has plant, panned, rather, the idea. Our chief Washington correspondent, Peter Cook, joins us now with one of the key players in the decision. Peter. Deirdre, thanks very much. Joined by Bart Sheldon. He's one of the commissioners at the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which faces a deadline today to decide on this issue. Mr. Commissioner, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Sure, Peter. Uh, tell us your take on this. Movie futures, good idea or a bad idea? Uh, well, these popcorn prediction markets, I think, are interesting and novel, and I don't want to be a government bureaucrat who would say no to that. By the same token, I think they pose some risk to uh, what trading could take place. And I'm worried about manipulation. I think the studios obviously have a, a big impact in the box office take and all the way up until the last minute. So it's something we need to look at carefully to make sure that we're, these markets are void of fraud, abuse, and manipulation. The decision today is simply whether or not to approve an application to create a market for this place, not a specific contract yet. First of all, there have been some delays in, in reaching this decision up till now. Will we have a decision today, and, and how will you vote on that issue? Uh, well, it looks like we will make a decision today. We're being asked to make a decision. I'm a little reluctant in that regard only because next week there's a hearing in, in the House Agriculture Committee, and I think uh, Colin Peterson and the other members of that committee sort of uh, should have their, their say, and I think it would be helpful to us. But statutorily, you're right, Peter, today is the day. And at, at this point, I have some significant concerns about going forward, uh, but ultimately we'll have to see where, where the commission ends up at the end of the day. All right, five commissioners, there need to be three votes on there to move this thing forward. Let me ask you just about, uh, uh, about this issue. Supporters say, listen, every other industry out there has some way to hedge risk. This is just another tool for the industry to hedge their risk. Why not futures for, for movies? What's the big deal? Well, in, in theory, that's that's right. But remember, uh, the people who have an impact, it's different than uh, uh, the corn contract or a soybean or crude oil. I mean, a single motion picture is really controlled by a single entity, and that's the movie studio. So they have a lot to uh, be involved in that can affect the price. So risk management for the studio uh, can they be involved in it? And to, to me, there should be a big firewall there. And if there's a firewall, therefore, they can't really hedge like you're suggesting is would be the need. Uh, we've heard from the industry they aren't interested in the idea. If the industry isn't a buyer of this product and it's left only to institutional investors or at least one application would open it up to all retail investors, would that cause particular concerns for you if the industry itself isn't using it? Yeah, it causes huge problems. I mean, you either say the studios uh, are, can impact the price of the market, therefore they should be out of the market and not hedge, and therefore it's just a speculative contract, or you say they're in it and there's a conflict. So I see some problems right now, but again, this is a novel approach. I'm interested in looking at how things go forward and maybe things will be tweaked, but I have some significant concerns about this just being uh, merely a gambling venue. One, uh, supporters of this would also make the case that, listen, there's a lot of people involved in financing movies these days, hedge funds, private equity firms, private investors. They should have the ability to hedge their risk going forward, or maybe we won't see as many movies made. It's so hard to make a movie in the first place. Well, well there are sorts of people, I think, that, and entities that could possibly use it to hedge their risk. We haven't heard from those folks. Uh, nobody's written to us uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, maybe they will in the future, as you say, when we get to the individual contracts. But I could see possibly merchandisers uh, of a Shrek toy, for example, uh, might want to hedge their risk. Maybe the cinemas would want to hedge their risk. But so far, the only people we've heard from are the, the uh, most Motion Picture Association of America and, and their affiliates, and they're opposed to it. And so if they're not going to hedge their risk, I don't know who is for sure. It sounds like you're leery of this, uh, but a decision today from the CFTC? That's the plan. All right. Bart Chilney is Commissioner of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Movie Futures, Deirdre, that's the latest from here in D.C.